Chair, and uh, thanks to all of you for the service that you are rendering our country. Gentlemen, I don't take a back seat to anyone when it comes to protecting intelligence sources, operations, and methods. That is absolutely crucial to the security and well-being of our country. But I will tell you, I am increasingly troubled about the intelligence community's reliance on secret law. And this is the legal interpretations of the key laws, instances where government agencies are relying on a secret interpretation of what the law says without telling the public what the interpretations are. And to me, if there is a gap between what the public believes the law is and what the government secretly thinks the law is, I think we got a problem on our hands. So let me start with you, uh, Director Clapper, with a question that gets into the Patriot uh, Act because that's obviously a key one we're going to have to deal with in the days ahead. Director Clapper, do you believe that members of the American public now have enough access to key information to figure out how our government is interpreting the Patriot Act. Sir, I do believe uh, there is um, uh, a wealth of information there. Uh, I would refer to uh, Department of Justice or FBI web pages uh, on this subject as a source of public information. There, are, uh, there is, uh, in the case of the Patriot Act, uh, potentially a, you know, a, a, what I think is a fairly small segment of that, which is secret much for, for much the reason you outlined. That's why uh, these uh, activities are overseen by a court and as well uh, re overseen by the intelligence uh, committees on behalf of the, of the American public. I think it's our objective to make this as uh, transparent and explainable to um, the American public a, as possible and, and minimize as much as we can that which is secret. Uh, Bob, do you want to add to that? No, I think what I would say is uh, I do believe that uh, the, uh, the legal opinions of the Department of Justice uh, are made available appropriately. That is not to say that in an opinion that is classified, that it is widely distributed, but uh, I know that there is uh, uh, a distribution a discussion uh, with Congress, even in those uh, areas in which there is substantial classification. But again, I'd have to defer to Office of Legal Counsel and I'm, Justice I'm, to determine how that process goes I'm, forward. I'm, I'm talking, Mr. Mueller, about the American people. And I believe that the American people would be absolutely stunned. I think members of Congress, many of them would be stunned if they knew how the Patriot Act was being interpreted and applied in practice. Now, I voted last night for the short-term extension. I'd rather deal with this now and permanently rather than kicking the can down the road, but I'm going to insist on significant reforms in this area. We're not talking about operations and methods. Those have got to be protected for the security of the public, but there is a huge gap today between how you all are interpreting the Patriot you know, Act and what the American people think the Patriot Act is all about, and it's going to need to be resolved. So let me follow up with a second question for you, Mr. Clapper, again in this uh, regard, and this deals with your authority to take action against Americans who've taken up arms against the United States. A year ago, your predecessor, Director Blair, said, and I quote, we take direct actions against terrorists in the intelligence community if we think that direct action will involve killing an American, we get specific permission to do that. Now, that is obviously a statement with great uh, consequence, and it certainly raises a lot of important issues. In my experience, you don't see a government official making a statement like that without an extensive amount of legal analysis. I've asked for that legal analysis. Nothing has been handed over yet, which again drives home the point that when we're talking about operations and methods, absolutely, we have to protect the men and women in the field, but we ought to have these legal interpretations, and I'd like to know your answer to my question in this regard with respect to getting that interpretation uh, in our hands. Well, I, I think I speak for all of us, are, are <clears throat> committed to ensuring that the Congress 
understands the legal basis for intelligence activities, any intelligence activity. In fact, this is a requirement of the Intelligence Authorization, intelligence authorization Act for FY10. And it's my understanding that uh, members of the committee have been briefed on these and other authorities. I think the issue that you get to, uh, and at the root of your question, is what uh, Director Mueller alluded to, which is the actual provision of the formal written o uh, Office of Legal Counsel opinions of the Department of Justice and whether or not they, in their entirety, can be provided to Congress, um, which kind of not our, at least not my call to make. But I will assure you, uh, I am committed to ensuring that Congress understands the legal basis for any and all intelligence activities. Right, right now, with respect to the executive branch's official interpretation of what the law means, we're not getting it. And I think that's an issue, well, my round is, has expired so we can continue this, that I'm going to insist on reforms here. Uh, I want to see us come up with a bipartisan set of reforms for, uh, for the Patriot Act. We're not there yet, and uh, I look forward to continuing this con conversation, Madam Chair. Thank you.